Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial. This will be a quick video on how to extend your breadboards. If you've been following along with the videos in this series, you'll recall that in the getting started video, I put my Raspberry Pi in an enclosure. Now, this was great because it kept the Pi safe and cool due to a fan inside the enclosure. However, it made it difficult to work with the GPIO header. So, in the second video, I showed how to run jumper wires from the GPIO header to a breadboard, but you'd have to attach and remove wires from the header each time you built a new circuit. That brought us to the prior video in the series where I showed how to use a GPIO extension board. Now, this was great because it no longer required us to connect jumper wires directly to the pins on the GPIO header on the Pi, which means less risk of damage to the pins on the header, and it also made it easier to read the pin labels using the extension board. But depending on the size of the breadboard you attach the extension board to, it may not leave much room for building circuits. So in the case where you've attached your GPIO extension board to a small breadboard, which does make it easy to store, and you can build different circuits on other boards and not have to destroy them when you move on to a new project, adding another breadboard to the mix is convenient. To get started in doing that, you'll just need an additional breadboard and some jumper wires. You'll start by running jumper wires for power and ground from the small breadboard to the large one. Then, if you have a fan, like I do, connect the positive and negative leads from the fan to the appropriate rail on the large breadboard. Now, as shown on the bottom right of this image, run positive and negative jumper wires from one rail on the breadboard to the rail on the other side. And now you should have power across the board. If you attach a circuit and find you don't have power running throughout the entire board, attach positive and negative jumper wires as shown here where the pliers are pointing to in the image. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful.